Hello. I will be showing you guys how to make a multiplication program on Chipmunk Basic. What it will do is you'll have it all set up in the background and they'll display the number it equals. Alright, so right here, let's go in here. Not that, sorry. Wrong thing. You use a TXT file. So, here, let's get rid of all this junk. Let me move this. You guys probably can't see that. Okay. Let's see your format. Let's make it to where you can see the font. Let's make it 18. Alright. Now, in my previous videos, you've had to um, name the identity of the line. Well, in this, what I'm doing, you don't. So, what you gotta do is type let and then a variable. Which use letters, so let's just do a equals two, and then let's do another one. Let uh, b equal three hundred forty-five. It doesn't matter what. Let it's just basically telling what the things equal. So c equals ten. Okay, you can do as much as you want. I can fill up the whole page, but that's not what we need to do right now. Then we need to do another variable. Let's use E. Or D. We just always get together wrong. It doesn't matter what you use. D equals. And then you gotta do A, your variables. And then that, you gotta do Shift 8 to get that little sign right there. That means multiplication. And then you have to do. Then your other variables and just keep doing that like that so D equals A times B times C and then under here you gotta type print so you want to display D so basically what you're saying is A equals 2 B equals 345 C equals 10 D equals A times B times C. So basically saying D equals 2 times 345 times 10. And then I'm saying to print D, so display D. Ah. It's very simple. I'll have other videos on different stuff, but... Yeah. Alright, so we got that. So, what you can do is just make, you go in your chipmunk basic, or you can make it a dot bass file, I'll show you how to do that. And you do command O, and then you go and select your file, so it's mine's example txt, and then you gotta type run, and it, right here it displayed the answer, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but 6,900 is our answer, and it displayed it. So if you had programs, you could do that. It's pretty easy. Basically, if you don't want to go through the hassle of going into Chipmunk and stuff, then you can go here. You can rename it, but you can right there. See as it says example txt. Delete the te txt and put dot bas, and it'll ask you use bas to where you can just click on it, and it opens. Well, if you want to look at it, like change it, you got to go down to text edit, do commando. That load. And then you have to select your file. And then it, there it is. It's pretty cool. It's fun to mess around with if you get bored. I'll have a link in the description on where to download Chipmunk Basic for Mac. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like my other videos. Thank you.